Ha! Hey everyone, Hassan here. Welcome to the world of Ha. Today I have another Nintendo Switch related video for you. This is for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. We have the brand new Pokeball Plus accessory. So the new Pokemon games are out now for the Nintendo Switch and uh, I'm excited. I actually have the Eevee version. My wife got the uh, Pikachu version uh, and we both got the Pokeball because this is actually really cool. What it does is you actually play the game with one Joy-Con um, but Instead, you can play with this Pokeball, which is which is super cool. The little um, button in the center is actually a joystick, which is how you control it. Uh, and you can even transfer a Pokemon into here and kind of carry it around, and it'll make sounds. And this also acts as a... Uh, what was the Pokemon Go Plus, I think it was called, for, for Pokemon Go, where it was like that, um, the thing where you were in your wrist, I have it somewhere, um, and you could, like, catch Pokemon without having to have the app open, so this actually can also function as that. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it, so I'm really excited, I want to do an unboxing and test out a couple things on here, so, uh, let's take a quick look at the box. So it actually says, it's a Pokeball, a game controller, plus more, uh, which is which is super cool. Works with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, and works as a Pokemon Go Plus. Yeah, so that, that's what it's called. Uh, take Pokemon from your game into the real world. Um, which is which is super cool. Uh, and here's the here's the other important thing. This Pokeball Plus actually contains Mew. Um, this is the only way to get Mew in Pokemon Let's Go. If you have Mew in Pokemon Go, you cannot transfer it. The only way to get Mew is to get this Pokeball. You can buy the Pokeball by itself, or you can actually buy it in a bundle with the game. Uh, that's what my wife did. She actually got the bundle with the Pikachu version. Because I bought the Eevee version digitally, um, I just got the Pokeball by itself. Um, but uh, just as an FYI, in case you're you're trying to track this down. So it should be pretty plentiful to be able to find. Uh, that's kind of cool. You got some Pokemon right here on the packaging, which is neat. Here's your charge cable, which we'll take a look at. Uh, and then you have the instruction manual right here. Is there anything to note? It talks about how to charge it. Um, yeah, I mean, nothing, whatever, we'll figure it out. Um, but so, oop, I'm just knocking over the camera here. So here is the charge cable. Okay. And basically, this is it. So it's kind of short, to be honest. Uh, it's really meant to be, I guess, close to your Switch dock because you can just plug this right into the dock. Um, I kind of wish it was a little bit longer in case you wanted to, to charge it elsewhere. Um, but uh, there's that. And then here is the, the Pokeball Plus. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, look at that thing. That's, that's super awesome looking. Um, it is... Definitely tiny, you know, it's not it's not like super big as you can see in the palm of your hand like it's it's small um, But in a way that's actually not too bad because you, If you carry this thing around you don't want something super big and bulky So that's actually kind of nice the question is how comfortable will it be to play the game? And that is the interesting part because this is a joystick and it's a small joystick um, It's definitely smaller than a joy-con. So I have um, You know a joy-con right here yeah, definitely a smaller joystick than that. So normally you play Pokemon Let's Go uh, like this with your joystick and you can push the buttons. Here you're going to be playing like that, um, which is very interesting. And then also, I don't know if you can hear it, when you click, that's how you push, like you select things and you see it's lighting up because I clicked it. There's also a button at the top. Um, so I think this acts as like the A button and this is like the B button on the top to like back out of what you're doing um, Which is interesting. It also has HD rumble um, So I'm excited to test that out And uh, what's in here? Oh, is this how you charge it? Uh, yes, so this is where the charger goes basically so this plugs right in uh, there uh, so I'll plug that in just a second, but you also have the the wrist strap and you have this little thing here Which is this to like hold it? like I'm guessing it's something like you put this on your wrist um, and then you can, how does it work? Do you just put your finger through here? Is this like an extra grip? I, I don't know. Maybe, I guess. It's a little interesting, but um, you know, whatever. Just don't throw your Pokeball at the TV because that wouldn't be good. Uh, so let's actually get this thing charged while I continue talking here. So um, there's one interesting thing about this as well when you plug it in to charge. Um, so I have my, I just have an external battery pack here. So let's uh, plug this in. Da, 
that's super, super cool. So uh, what it just did is it actually played the sound that it plays when you go to a Pokemon Center and drop off your Pokemon there uh, to be all rested up and, and healed um, because you're basically charging this up as well. So that that is, that's the attention to detail that Nintendo and, and Pokemon do, which is just awesome. That, that's why I love this kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that is the Pokeball Plus. I, at a glance, I mean, it definitely um, looks really, really cool, and I'm excited to fully uh, try this out. So um, now I'm going to open up my um, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee version and see if I can connect this, and we're going to test out how well this works as an actual controller. So let's do that. All right, so I've paired up the controller. It looks like I just had to go to the, the screen where you first log in to connect the controller, and I think I just pushed both buttons and it seemed to connect. So now it says communicating. Um, and uh, yeah, oh, so that is what, so what you do. So you hold it um, like this, but then you have, looks like your finger like that, which is kind of interesting. So I don't know, we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's get right into this game. I've only played, by the way, in terms of spoilers, I've played like about a half hour of the game, so I'm kind of at the beginning of the game, so there no, shouldn't really be any spoilers, but just as an FYI, in case you're wondering, you know, you really don't want to see anything. So here I am right here at Viridian City. I just got here. Um, so control-wise, so I can use this as a joystick, as you can see, which is very interesting. Um, if I want to talk to someone... I just push in on the control stick, um, so that's pretty cool. Now, what if I want to, how do I access the menu? Oh, the top button looks to be the menu, okay. So let's take a look at my party, for example. So this is what I have so far. Um, so let's click on Eevee, and we'll check summary, okay. So that's my starter. Now, what if I want to go back? Oh, so I push the top button. Yep, so top button is like your B button, but it also acts as your X button to get to the menu. So it's kind of like dual function, basically. Um, so that's pretty intuitive, I feel like, um, which is which is very interesting. So let's actually see if I can go catch a Pokemon and then see how that feels in here. So there's a Pidgey trying to run away from me. All right, let's go into a battle here with this Pidgey. All right, I encountered a wild Pidgey. So I will get ready. Oh, it made a sound. All right, now I just throw it, I guess. Oh, I did not throw it very straight. Let's try it again. Nice. That's super cool. So it made the lights and it, and it uh, rumbled with the HD rumble for each little, you know, Pokeball shake and it turned green when it was actually caught and then you heard Pidgey's cry in the Pokeball. Um, so that's actually really, really cool how they did that. Um, it actually feels really nice. My only thing is it is a little small. I, I will say that. So I don't know how comfortable it's going to be for a long, like after a long use. Um, That'll be very interesting to see. I, I like the smallness for the portable factor, but in terms of actually playing the game, it, it'll remain to be see how over long-term sessions it'll be, but this is just my initial impression. Super cool. I love the HD rumble part of it as well, um, which is definitely pretty great. So, um, yeah, let's, um, uh, let's see if I can connect this to Pokemon Go now and see, you know, what that looks like as well. Oh, and actually, there's also, there should be a way to do... Um, I may not have it yet, but uh, to actually transfer the Mew. Um, yeah, I, I don't know that I have, I don't see an, any option for that at this time. There, there's got to be some way to transfer it at some point, but I might have to get further in the game to do that. I don't know. But let's try and connect this to Pokemon Go and see what that's like. All right, so I'm here in Pokemon Go, and I'm going to try and figure out how to connect this. I assume I go into the settings here, probably. Um, and let's see if there's something here for, ah, Pokeball Plus. Well, what do you know? Um, available devices. So let's see if I click on both. Oops, it's still connected to my Nintendo Switch, so it like turned it on. Um, but that's not what I want. I want to be able to connect it here. Uh, let's see. Oh, there we go. Available devices. Pokeball Plus. Enable Pokeball Plus. Let's turn it on. Okay, Pokeball Plus enabled. So that's pretty cool. Oh, it's lighting up. Uh, I wonder why, because I think there is a Pokemon that is nearby, as you can see. So let's push it. 
Did it do anything? Oh, it's shaking. All right, and there we go, and it turned rainbow. So that means Anarith was caught. Um, so, oops, that actually disconnects. I don't want to disconnect. Um, but it actually said right there. So just like your normal, um, if you had the Pokemon Go Plus, where it would, um, uh, you know, like flash when you came across Pokestops or um, had Pokemon nearby, you would just push the button and it would try and catch it. So it works the same exact way, basically, um, which is definitely really cool. Um, so yeah, wow, okay. So let's see my recent Pokemon. And there you go. I caught this uh, Anorith through the Pokeball Go Plus, which is, uh, which is super cool. So that is uh, how it works with Pokemon Go. So that is the Pokeball Plus for the Nintendo Switch uh, for Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, unboxing and, and mini quick look at what the functionality is of this uh, device. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below, are you gonna get Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu or Eevee? Um, I know that there's some like Pokemon fans that are not sure about it because it is slightly different how you don't catch Pokemon the normal way. You catch it kind of more Pokemon Go style. But it is a Pokemon Yellow remake for the rest of it. Um, I know some people are ready for the, the next traditional Pokemon uh, game coming next year. Uh, I'm excited about this. If you are getting Pokemon Let's Go, let me know in the comments below, are you getting Eevee or Pikachu. Um, I ended up going with Eevee. Um, I thought, you know, it was different and uh, it should be a lot of fun to, to kind of try out. But uh, let me know in the comment section below uh, what you ended up getting as well. And uh, we'll definitely, I'll, I'll let you guys know how the game continues. And if you want to see some gameplay, maybe in the future I'll do a, a gameplay video as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you later.